Hey everybody, how's it going again? I got a new project for you today that you might like. It's an attaché. This here is going to go in the back bathroom area where there's a vent in the ceiling where it's not covered. So sometimes when there's sun out, um, it just breaks that whole area up. And if I want to get a little shut eye and with darkness, I would just close the um, shade. But, but by this being open, it will just wake me right up and be something different. So we're going to try that in the back. It should take them more than a few minutes to install as well as we're going to install what's called a perfect tear paper towel holder and I'll show you in a bit when I pull the paper towel in the kitchen area it just rolls right off the paper towel holder. I got to kind of put put it back on there slowly but this way as the um, maker state when you tear off one paper towel you're not unraveling that whole row you're just getting one paper towel at a time off the roll so we'll try this here and we're going to see what happens so let's get started we're going to install the ap products attache i'll put a link below you guys can check it out if you want to get this for yourself it's a shade with some kind of reflective on the back it comes with screws as well so let's open this here up and i'll show you how it looks I'll take this out of the um, covering here to show you what we have. I'll lay that to the side. And what you have here, you have a 14 inch size um, vent cover with the four screw holes that you have in your standard um, fan that you have in the ceiling. And the back side has this here reflected type material. It comes with the four screws right here, but you also can use the um, screws that, you, that came with the um, original fan vent. So One, let's two, get started. I'm going to go ahead and remove these, this, these screws here, like so. And so the screws that came with the fan cover or the added shade, it's a white material the covering for Tim Rover is a alabaster or beige type material. I'll go ahead and remove this last screw. I got this here started. I'm going to go over here adjacent to the other one and get this one here going. Like so. I'll finish this here up. It's not bad, looking nice already. Tighten that down. So this is a pretty good project. It closes nice, it opens nicely. It doesn't affect the um, twisting of this little dial here that opens up the um, fan cover as in the lid to get a little ventilation. And it has a little reflective, will kind of help out. I like it. Real nice. I like it. Next, I'm going to install this perfect tear paper towel holder. As I mentioned to you guys earlier, when I would go pull a, a sheet off the paper towel holder, I usually get something like this here, get two. But sometimes when I pull it off, I'll show you, I'll get more than that. Sometimes it'll just roll off. It'll, sometimes it'll just keep rolling like that. But right now it's behaving itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and replace this here paper towel holder with the perfect tear. I'll put that to the side. So what I'll do, I have two screws here and try to minimize putting screws inside of the um, counter here or the upper cabinets because once you put screws in there you get the holes there forever. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just use one of the screw holes and create another screw hole that I have for this section right here as you can see there's two screws right here so basically it'll go just like that under the cabinet so I'll just remove this screw right here don't lose the screw you don't want it to fall down the um, drain of your sink so be careful with that came right out So from there, it off. Got the um, perfect tear 
paper towel holder. It's kind of more of a ratchet type of uh, mechanism here. It doesn't just spin and rolls. It kind of holds the paper towel in place. This, with this perfect tear, it came with these anchors right here that you would use like in some drywall, as well as these Phillips screws I'm going to be using. And with this here, the reason why I'm not using the anchor is because this is veneer here, there's wood under here, but it's not like a drywall type um, situation. It's more of a veneer with some um, lighter wood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow up, I'm going to use a little liquid nails. The same liquid nails that I used a few years back when I installed the fire extinguishers. I'm going to use that. It seems to hold up pretty well. So let me get started with this here. I have my gloves here because you don't want to get any liquid nails on your hands because it's a, it's a bear to get off. So I'll go ahead and just squeeze some of this liquid nail material around the screw here. And what we'll do, I'll hold this here like so. If you get liquid nails on this unit here, don't worry, you can always use like goo gun or some kind of um, adhesive remover or some, wet, uh, some water in a rag before the glue dries. So we'll go ahead and install that under here. Get that going. And we'll do this next screw here. Put a little of this liquid nail material on this screw. Go ahead and screw that in nice and tight. I'll use the paper towel that I showed you earlier, instead of um, discarding that paper towel, I'll use it to wipe the excess liquid nails off. But what I'm going to do is let this dry before I install the paper towel on it. Because you want to kind of wait maybe 24 hours before this, um, before you can put a paper towel on it, because since you know you're using Basically like particle board and veneer. It's not that hard wood you have like in your house like a 2 by 4 Or even drywall. It's very light wood that they use in these motorhomes today So this is another great project. I like it and you can see right here I can just take a paper towel and snatch it off without it tearing the roll off. So this is not bad Not bad one paper towel at a time so do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like. I'll put a description of all these products that I use at a shade as well as perfect here in the description below. And as well as the Tim Rover shirt. You guys ordered one of these here to support the channel. You guys take care and have a great day. Bye.